Like it. Hello. I have only just discovered show your show, and was wondering if you have discussed the phenomenon of the nice guy anywhere. I do accept the logic of the alt right in so movements with regards to being a nice guy. However, I have consistently been told that I'm too nice throughout my life by friends and family, mostly men, but some women too. And if anything, it seems more prevalent uh, among LGBTQI friends. I'm not entirely sure what people really mean by this. I don't want to be less nice, but I had any form of relationship in over five years. Wait, sorry, say that again. I'm not entirely sure what people really mean by this. I don't want to be less nice, mm -hmm. but I haven't had any form of relationship in over five years. So what's a bit annoying is that like, I don't really understand whether um, this person is straight bi or gay or whether that matters. I'm guessing either bi or very queer friendly yeah. and a man. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can't, well, I think we're... I, I mean, it's a nice fun. guy, so yeah. I'm... Yeah, guy. Okay, yeah. so... I actually find it very, very interesting because, okay, on the one hand, nice guy is used by a lot of shit men as a way of being like, I told her she was pretty and she won't sleep with me. I'm a nice guy. Bullshit. However, nice guy is also a category that unfortunately a lot of women put men into when he's not seen as, and this is a mainstream view, but seen as like sexually dominant, seen as taking charge, seen as being like, let me pin you against this wall and make love to you. Like... <laughs> Just that. Don't do that without consent. There's but always like, consent. So like the nice guy thing is is a double edged sword, unfortunately. Yes. Like we're not talking ideals now, we're talking real society and this might make things reactionary, but this is the thing. Like Yes. I wonder if what you mean by nice guy means being someone that's not assertive. And I think um uh, yep. A lot of the time, uh, the the trope of being or like the act of being assertive, although we we pin it to the man, it kind of falls down onto women. The, the conversation that we had about children, right? The the thing mm. is just like um, asserting your actual desires, like th that. But it's just like um, the dude rarely of the time they they plan like um, when to meet the, the the school teachers when they, they book the medical appointment when they make sure the kid has like the after school classes when they make sure that they start eating this particular food and not that particular food like it's always basically the basic for the woman is always to be assertive and plan the next thing and do the, but the, do thing, the actual basic stuff. But there's like sexual assertiveness, which is, and then there's like actual real life assertiveness, which is making sure we have food and vegetables, making sure this stuff is done. And that's very woman centric. Yeah, it's right? very, the types of assertiveness are very gendered. That's true. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah so I just, I, I wonder if like, the, the people that have told you that you're too nice just kind of mean that you haven't necessarily uh, put any sort of opinion about anything of course you have or also, that you've given into gender stereotypes and you're the guy that does the washing up you're the guy that does the cooking you're the guy that does the social reproduction the the feminized tasks could then be seen as being a nice guy right really? Who was, have you ever really met anyone that go that really really does all those things and still is not someone that people would be interested in i have never met that guy i have met people that like are too nice because they don't really say anything deviating they don't really stick up for their friends in terms of a conflict like they sit on the fence they're kind of nice and they're trying to like put a bring mm. everyone across but do they do the practical tasks do they really do the cooking do they really like do the practical things i don't think they that's do. true because there is the, the phenomenon yeah that we have come across and we really fucking hate of the fence sitter of the everyone's darling don't. of the person that in a <gasps> conflict will not take a side because they can see all sides of the story you know what sometimes there isn't all sides of the story and sometimes you need to lose some friends in order to have some fucking principles and exactly. if you're that person you're not a nice guy you're an unprincipled wet blanket yeah but maybe that's not you hopefully because i'm also thinking of for example someone who could be read as a nice guy is someone that i was dating in say november mm. yeah but have but that was the but that's not that person. But that that's not an everyone's darling. That's a socially awkward, uncomfortable, doesn't quite know how to be assertive, doesn't necessarily want to be assertive. Because like, I think there's a, I do think, okay, I do think there is a crisis in feminism for men. For reals. This which, is why we're doing what which we're doing. Which is like, on the one hand, I want to be like, oh understanding of women's really needs. Let's I want go, to be like, go. 
I want to be like, make sure I'm not not too dominant, don't make too much yes. space, make sure I take on a social yes. productive task of washing up or whatever that is, make sure I listen to the women and this and this. And then on the other hand, there's the like, the kind of guys that get laid are the ones that are assertive, the ones that have a motorbike, the ones that, that like take up space and are like their like most peacocky selves. And I do think there's this like this contradiction in feminism between what we say we want and what is actually seen as desirable. I think I have found like a, in a way, in a way not agreeing with you. It's just like I found that there are two binaries. There's either the guy that um, does all the dishes, does all the practical tasks, will be there for like supporting pe- like people in, in practical sense, but will stand but will stick on the line in terms of like any sort of disagreement with anyone else. Mm. And then there will be a guy that will like, you know, will be like, probably will have their own friendship group and probably be really militant and be like, you're, you know, you should behave this way or like your friends are shit in that way. And yeah, they'll be a bit like, they, they will expect you to be the woman in any every other way because mm. that's their way of dominating. So, so... A nice guy? I mean, I don't know. Do you feel yourself as being a nice guy? It says his friends and family, mostly men, but some women too, and mostly LGBTQ people, say that he's too nice. Like, I've what does that mean? This person. To, be, to, be, to be too nice is a nice way of saying too acquiescent, too giving in. Exactly. To not holding your exactly. own. Exactly. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. There is a way of being a nice person and having confidence and con- conviction. Conviction. That's the word. Yeah. Oh my days. Yeah. So, like, you, like, if you're seen as too nice, maybe think about, like, have you ever actually taken a stand on something? Exactly. Have you actually ever, like, like, physically put yourself in support of a person exactly. or a movement or a conflict exactly. or this? Like, because to me, it's something that's really fucking sexy is someone who is standing up for their friends or for their point of view, even if it might face the idea that other people might not like them at the end. Because if you're going to take a stand on something, some people are not going to like you. And are you are you prepared for somebody who's not like you? Because if you are, exactly. then other people will like you so much more. And I don't know, maybe that's somewhat personal, but like I will say someone that we know that somewhat uh, perhaps would have thought like, like nice guys such in certain ways but like it came to like them a certain dominance and then like they did when we were doing it already so not to say like that's a masculine thing but they like two times um, oh yeah. yeah and i was like that babes i get yeah. it that's amazing but yeah <laughs> if you're seen as a nice guy i don't think that is actually a compliment i, and I don't th- think that is actually something you should hold as a badge of pride no yeah i also think it's okay for us to blur certain things out like i i had an alter, altercation with boris johnson that i could happily sell for many things but i wouldn't won't because that puts my people that i love into bad place and in terms of safety so on the other hand that. i own jacob reed's morgue and i'm super proud of it <laughs> oh my God. if we have time we're definitely going to get to that <laughs> rowan <laughs> Oh, and Jacob Rees Mogg! Such a babe! <laughs> oh man, this girl. Yeah, just a babe. Just like, you know, we're not all babes. But some people are babes. They're just. I've done bad stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice guy. Thank you. Good, probably a good ally in many shapes or forms. Not to say that we haven't uh, witnessed people that call themselves that and hence that completely subtracts them of being like yeah you're not liable you're like i don't trust a nice guy i'm sorry have you like, ever heard of a nice girl by the way you've no never heard no of nice that. girls don't exist never. no they don't exist no because women are expected to we're do either those boring things. or bitches yeah boring or bitches boring or bitches mm-hmm. nice girl is a boring girl bitch is not a nice guy no so yeah that's the other thing it's a very gendered term it's, and it's such a gender it's very interesting actually that he gets this mostly from his lgbtq comrades like is the guys you should have better problems. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like curious about that. Like, what do they mean when you, you say you never ask them? Like, I think you might actually need to ask them what they mean when they say nice guy because. And also the fact that you haven't had a relationship in five years. Oh yeah, I that was part of the question, like, right? I don't think that's down to you being nice. No, <laughs> you are not not getting laid because you're a nice guy. I'm sorry, no. like th- that plays into the whole idea of like women only date bad boys, oh. and like fuck that noise. No. Like it's just not true. It's just not true. You either like, have a good Tinder profile. <laughs> you either have a good Tinder profile for three hundred pounds, or. <laughs> 
Or like, like you know what? Yeah, I'm into a guy that has convictions that I agree with, and will stand up for his friends and comrades, and will also be prepared to be the not nice guy. Personally, I am not into the nice guy that's everyone's best friend because he is a person who is not standing up for anyone. And it's not a double stereotype because us as ladies have done it as well. As in, like, I think me and Rowan we found really, unlikable. Exactly in the like London and Anko squatting milieu, I think we are known as like the really like opinionated little bitches. Fine, yeah, deal with it. Yeah, we're not the nice guy, and I don't want to be the nice the, guy. I don't want to be the nice guy. If that means staying silent when my friends are getting like shit treatment, yeah. like fuck being the nice guy. Yeah, fuck. And honestly, I think you and me mostly have one. Oh, good one. <laughs> so was that helpful? Yeah. I think it was. I think it was. I like, think it was. Yeah, ask, look. Think about what it means when they say you're a nice guy. Ask your friends what it means when they say you're a nice guy. Think about whether being a nice guy actually means that you haven't stuck up for anyone. Actually means that you've been really careful to be everyone's friends. Actually means that you haven't had conviction. Maybe it doesn't mean anything that we're going up the wrong ladder. Fine. But we're also, projecting. We're always yeah, projecting. Yeah, we're always projecting. But also, like, having a relationship, not having a relationship for five years, that's fine too. Like I know lots of people that have not done that and then had meaningful good relationships because they waited for someone who they actually have a good connection with. Like, or they stay in relationships that are fucking miserable. Like, relationships yeah. are overrated. And like, the, like this is another version of the scoring thing. We've had all the other things. Like, it is not about how many people you date. It is not about how long your relationship starts. It is not about how late you start dating or how late you start having sex with someone of the opposite gender. It's not about any of that. It's about how much you respect and treat with respect and have understanding and love and compassion and sexy times with someone else that is all that matters if we could put our project into a 15 second video this would be what Rowan said literally so Bam. yeah amazing like fuck the rules like maybe we're single for five fuck years because you're a nice guy maybe we're single for five years because nobody sees their own convictions that's up to yeah. you to decide yeah and come back to us with feedback if you yeah have more thoughts <laughs>